All right, I thought I would start with a, what my sister suggested. She uh, suggested that we wear white pants. So if you're not sure, here's what's happening. Uh, we are going into New York City. She's taking me to see a Broadway show. No, I'm not sure which show we're gonna see, but she did suggest white pants. We are also going to brunch. Um, for now, the plan is to go to brunch. We'll see if I can handle it. It's just been, I've been, I've been not sleeping very well. So like my energy levels are a little wacky. So love that for us. But anyway, um, this probably looks familiar, uh, but I also want to be wary, right? I would love to wear heels in the city, but I am not going to because I want to be as comfortable as possible because when we're in the city, we are walking for miles. Like we just walk everywhere. It's just what we do. Of course, my sister will see and gauge like if I can handle it or not. And if we need to get a car, we will, but I don't like to do that. I like to be gung ho and walk everywhere because that's just how I was trained <laughs> to just walk everywhere. So the first fit for New York City tomorrow, Saturday, um, is my favorite denim shirt from Guess, my new white pants. Of course, we have the pockets, which are key here. And uh, I also threw on my rhinestone sneakers. I thought the rhinestone sneakers would be fun. So that's pretty much what I plan on wearing to the city, or I'll put on my glitter Keds. I have those as well. Same kind of vibe except they're a little thinner so they kind of are a little more chic they probably would look really good with this fit as well um but yeah so like it's interchangeable i have white ones and i also have gold ones like a rose gold color so i could go like they're neutral you know both are neutral so yeah that's what i'm thinking so this is good easy to move in cute legs are covered which is always a plus the toes are covered. Listen, when you're in the city, when I'm in the city, I don't, I don't like my feet to be out. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little wary about the feet exposure, New York City streets. It's just not a wise decision. Let's put it that way. So sneakers, clothes, shoes, boots, that's, that's probably your best bet. Um, but yeah, so this was the first look. Let me get into the other three. All right, next. Okay, these are the kids I was talking about. They're the rose gold. You see how they're like a thinner profile. They're a little sexier in that way. Um, I think they also really complement the olive green in the skirt. I love this skirt. I think it is super sexy with this slit all the way up. Um, and I paired it with my favorite H&M collared shirt. I think it's very chic. I think together it's very chic. It's kind of giving like beach town, summer, European summer, like a European beach town summer. Does that make sense? That's what I feel like. Um, yeah. The New York City I know is generally all black, but since I've been there a few times lately, I see a lot of um, the people who are into fashion are like literally wearing the exact opposite of black. They're all wearing the monochromatic, either all white, all tan, bright colors, um, not bright colors, like just like bright neutrals, right? So I think that's really interesting because it is such a stark contrast from the New York City that I knew when I was a teenager because literally everyone just wore black. Uh, so it's so interesting to see. The problem is if you stand out just a little bit, um, people will say something. <laughs> like you will, you will get attention. Um, so if you're wearing, a, even if just simple like a sundress, a skirt, stuff like that. So it makes me a little nervous to, to be more fashion forward in New York City, even though New York City is very fashionable. The attention you get is aggressive, let's put it that way. Um, every time I've worn a dress or worn something that's a little more fashion forward in the city, it is aggressive. Um, I literally, one time last year, I was wearing 
a Halloween sweater and jeans and just cute little devil horns, like so tiny you could barely see them. And I got stopped like all the time, the whole time I was there. And it was, it was literally nothing crazy. So I try not to stand out too much in the city because like I said, New York City is a little aggressive and by a little, I mean a lot, very, very aggressive. So I am not a confrontational person, so I get a little nervous, um, but we'll be there for the day since it's more of a brunch vibe. And I feel like this is a very brunch vibe, um, but yeah. I mean, now that I have it on, I keep talking because I don't want to take it off because I feel super cute in it and I really love it. But uh, yeah, the, the next two are very more subdued, less fashion forward, more casual. Let's put it that way. Less uh, noticeable. Yes. <laughs> like, yeah, safer. Let's put it that way. Safer. But yeah. Um, in terms of fashion, I really love this look. I think it's very sexy, but for the city, um, if you don't like attention, uh, just be wary. It, it can get it can get crazy fast. One time I wore a sweater dress and I was only walking one block. I was stopped every few feet. A sweater dress. A sweater dress. Anyway. <laughs> Just be aware of that. If, if you're a city gal, you already know. Um, and if you're not, now you know. But anyway, I'm gonna show you my next two fits. Very, very relaxed. Let's put it that way. Very calm, not, I wouldn't say fashion forward, but cute. Yeah, cute. All right, <laughs> next. Okay, uh, yeah, like I said, very simple, nothing crazy. Um, my favorite, one of my favorite uh, skinny jeans, I know it's aging me, but listen, listen. Skinny jeans on my body just work, all right? If you are into the wide leg, girl, go for it. Don't let me stop you, but I am a skinny girl stan. I'm the high-waisted. I love it. I love how it cinches into my waist. It just, this is how I, I feel the most confident in these jeans. I just, it's just how I am. And then I put on, you know it, um, a little bow bodysuit with the floral. I think it's super cute. It's sweet, very brunchy. Um, and then, and then my, my rose gold keds, you know, super sweet, cool, easy, you know, that sort of thing. Nothing crazy. I was thinking for, um, if I wanted to cover my shoulders, I have my cute white denim Positano jacket. Very cool, very chic. Um, do I have any other light jackets? <laughs> I have to think about it. Could just put a, a collared shirt over it too. That would be really cute and still have like my shoulders covered in case it's cold in the theater, but honestly, my sister usually brings our little pashminas and she just makes sure that I'm totally comfortable. <laughs> like she literally takes care of everything and everything is me. <laughs> so spoiled, yes, well taken care of 100%. So I really generally don't have anything to worry about. I just show up and yeah, everything else falls into place because she makes sure it happens that way. She's literally the greatest, best thing that's ever happened to me. So if you can get a sister like I have a sister, get yourself a sister, but I'm not sharing mine. She is mine. <laughs> um, I'm not trying to brag, but listen, I am a hot mess and she knows it. <laughs> and like, no offense to men, but men could never. Like, I don't know anyone who could, I mean, she just, everything, everything. She's the best. I mean, <sighs> thank God for my sister. Anyway, um, super cute, very comfortable, easy to move in. Um, yeah, and I won't overheat. I mean, the jeans... Uh, in the summer, generally not a great idea, but here's what I'll say about that. It's gonna be in the mid 80s 
And for me, that's like a little bit more on the chillier side. So I could totally be comfortable in jeans moving around the city. Um, so that's not like an issue for me for like city days, you know, like if it were in the 90s, I would probably I would be I wouldn't wear shorts, but I would definitely seriously consider a dress, but something a very like flowy dress, you know what I'm saying? Nothing that can get too much attention. Maybe the skirt that I showed you before, that sort of thing. But um, yeah, I'm just wary about wearing dresses in the city. It's just a little, it could be a situation. Anyway, I have one more fit, super, super simple, basic AF. Very cool, just one of those fits that just works together, you know? And like brunch, it's just, you'll see. It's very cute, very cute. All right, next. Oh my God. All right, literally, I spent three, okay, maybe not three, two hours looking for this bow choker because it was gonna look so cute with the corset look and these jeans and the and the bow shoes. Yeah, yeah, I just found it. I just found it. I'm so mad at myself, but here it is. Here it is in this cute outfit. So just pretend it was in the other outfit too, okay? All right. <laughs> anyway, like I said, this is very simple. See, I don't know. Come here. <sighs> All right. Very simple, black jeans, white bodysuit, kind of playing with that black and white kind of look to it, that motif. Um, of course, I could do white sneakers would be super cute with this. I just put on my super comfortable rose gold Keds because they're so comfortable. Like, I can't even tell you. I, I wore these for miles in Rome, miles and miles and miles, like these Keds are so comfortable. They have like this squishy, <gasps> they are so comfortable and they look good in every picture. They're super cute, chic, and you could walk for miles in them. Like for travel, I'm obsessed. I love these. These are the best. Honestly, I plan on getting more because <laughs> they're okay. Like you can tell they've, they're, they're, they're well loved. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I might get another pair. Um, not right now, but you know, in the future. But yeah, I mean, I love them so much. But yeah, super simple, very cute little sort of brunch situation. I think the bow really elevates it even as simple as it is. It's just like this cute little detail. And that's the thing, right? Sometimes accessories just make the whole fit. Because what is this? A white bodysuit, black jeans. But when you start putting cute little details in, you know, you can show that there's a thought process and there's this idea of just, oh, oh wait. <gasps> Let me show you the bag. Because you have to have a bag ugh, in the city, unfortunately. You just have to, to carry all your stuff. Look, a bow, oops, <gasps> okay, a bow bag, stop it, <gasps> oh my god, oh, okay, well, this might be it, and wait, let me show you the cute little shrug, you, you're gonna die, right, it's, I feel like it's gonna be way too hot to wear something like this, but cute option, it's gonna be a high of 85 tomorrow. Uh, yeah, tomorrow. Right? Little like whimsy. I love this sweater because it's so like whimsical with the little clouds on it. I just think it's so adorable, but I don't need it, right? And if I get cold, my sister will 100% make sure that I have a little pashmina because <laughs> she takes care of me. Did I mention that? She definitely makes sure that I'm not crazy. <laughs> Because it is good to have something to cover your shoulders with because in the city you just don't know. Are you going to walk into a place that's freezing cold or are you going to be walking 
so much that you're just like drenched in sweat and carrying all this stuff and you know having your shoulders covered is hot right um i am definitely going to be putting on a whole bunch of sunblock because listen i'm not trying to i'm not playing with the sun i do get a nice golden color but i'm not mm -mm. we are we are making sure that i protect myself from the uv rays I am white people, all right, despite everything, you know, Sicilian and Arab, I still got a lot of Irish in there. So the Irish definitely make sure that I take care of my skin. So we are covering that shit up. We're not playing that game. Anyway, um, yeah, so let me know in the comments below what you think uh, I should wear into the city. I'm going to coordinate with my sister, so obviously I'm going to show her what some of my ideas are, but what was your favorite fit and what would you wear and why when you're going into the city for the summer? A little brunch, a little Broadway situation. Um, but yeah, I don't know what the show is. Like if I knew what the show is, I would go a little more thematic probably. I just don't know what we're gonna see. I'm very excited though. <laughs> okay, anyway. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We are at over 1900 at this point, which is wild. Um, I, I don't know why, but for some reason, I feel like we might get to 2000 before even August, which would be insane and very exciting and unbelievable um, because I've been doing this for two going on three years every single day. I mean, it's about time. But at the same time, I'm very excited and I'm very happy you're here. And let me know what you would like to see from me, if there's anything else you wanna see. I know we have uh, some requests with what I eat in a day because of my uh, weight loss video. And then we also have um, looking for my skincare routine. I did one already, but I can do an updated one. So we'll do that. Um, and I have definitely done quite recently my hair care routine. So we have that already. Um, just look into the, the beauty playlist that should be there. But yeah. All right. Again, let me know in the comments below what was your favorite fit or what fit would you wear into the city for brunch and Broadway? Broadway brunch. Ah! And uh, yeah. Let me know what else you would like to see. I have some ideas fashion-wise to move forward. Um, if there are any other shoes that you've seen me wear, if you'd like me to style those, I can do that as well. Um, I had a lot of fun this past week styling those. So if you haven't seen them, they're Tuesday, Wednesday, and yesterday. So go check it out. It's super fun. And yeah, anyway. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Again, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. New York City, baby. Stay tuned.